Well, Ruby, what is you doing? Hey, uh, wait, I'm sorry, what are we supposed to Fuck it. This is all going to be part of it because what we want everybody to motherfucking do is smoke weed and watch Motherhood Sex Marijuana. Sex marijuana. Yes. We always I, in the building. We always in the motherfucking building. Season 7 setting legendary trends. We're going to be coming with some new shit and be in the building for all of it every Sunday on time. Cool. I know I'm coming. They know I'm coming. I know they gonna be there, and they know I'm gonna do the best job I can possibly. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, we. But of course, shit. Motherhood Sex Man One in the building, season seven in the building. Set and legendary trends in the motherfucking building. Yes. And yes, uh definitely get you some rolling papers. Definitely subscribe. Definitely drop a little something in the cash app and the PayPal's that'll be in the description. And definitely spread the word, tell a friend. Let's go. Ruby's iPhone has entered the waiting room. Okay, that's what's up. Shit. That's what the fuck is up. How you doing? Hair flip. How you doing? I love her. Yeah, that's What's right. Up? We both decided to show the fuck up and say, nah, hola, 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 hola. In season seven, we we just go we just gonna glamify error. No, we just gonna come glam. Cause what? The glam is in the building. The glam is in the building. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, may not have a glam team, but we know what to do. We know what the fuck to do. How we you know doing, Queen? Do and we oh Queen, I feel amazing. I'm so proud of how far we've come. This is crazy, right? Oh my God. Like, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think we crossed a four a four year mark at this point. We've been saying three years, but at this point, we crossed the four year mark, girl. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Yeah. And four year mark. And it's like, so I was talking to one of the other fellow creatives online, right? Mm -hmm. And he was just like, how do y'all have seven seasons if you just started? I was like, well, because we make our own rules and we cut down the seasons to what we what we call are the seasons. It's it's broken down between months and months, not between years. You know what I'm saying? Hello. So it's I wasn't um, upset or anything, but I was just being able to explain that and have it make sense in our minds, I think is awesome because it really is what we want to do. And at the same time, if you are subscribed to the channel, hint, hint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hint, hint. If you're subscribed to the channel and you decide to, you know, go to go to our YouTube channel and you hit, you know, from oldest to newest, you'll right. see we've had quite a number of shows we we started doing videos before we actually dropped the show because after all we needed to develop content and then right. we and then season after season we you know we right. decided how many episodes we want to do you know exactly. what i mean and and at the end of the day we take two month breaks and and in the in the two month breaks we're, we're creating content so that when drop date comes along which for drop date for this video is march 17th right. 
Like, mm-hmm. hey, you know what I'm saying? We we work on our schedule. See, that's the thing about being your own boss. And you right. know what I mean? We do what we want to do. And at the end of the day, like I said, if you have been subscribed to the channel, again, hint, hint, you would have seen that we dropped a certain number of episodes in, in each season. And now mm-hmm. we're in season mm-hmm. seven. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing that's going to happen when, you know, when we're on some, you know, some kind of, you know, streaming network. Zeus, what's up? Because I'm saying y'all, y'all can holler at us. Zeus, holler I'm at just us. saying, holler at us because y'all be putting out a lot of content. I'm just saying what's really good with us. You know what I mean? But, you know, like if we get on a content like that, we we still going to be working on the same thing. Ain't going to be like we going to be just putting out episode after episode after episode. Uh, we then we we gonna take vacations, player. We gonna take vacations, player. So so you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And and in the vacation, we're still working. We're we're creating content, and that's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here for. Yes, and indeed. Shit, yeah. I, I guess hasn't been it hasn't arrived as of yet. I have I, I don't see, but if, you know he did say he was on his way. Um, hey, babe. My husband is. What's up, King? Uh, what's up mr mr king (laughs) we're recording for season seven babe (laughs) but yeah so i was just about to tell us some shit i'm just kidding (laughs) <laughs> no, but no, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, like we, we've been putting in the work that the bottom line is that anybody that's watching us see, sees that we're putting in the work. So, so uh, uh, the only way you questioning is because you ain't take a look and, you know, do a little bit of research. I mean, the, the, the children say you got to get receipts when you talk about something. <laughs> no, the pick the them. They say. That oh, you know, when you talk receipt. about something, you need to come with a receipt. So, so before you come to us and question, no, because I don't like you questioning. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, if you come into question, do a little bit of re- research. Check check things out before you come and question grown people. Mm. Please do, please. Just and say. grown people, we are at that. You know, there's a lot of podcasts out there, which amazing. Why not? There's Hello. you can have a podcast about anything. Hello. Um, Hello. And you'll have a follow, you know, a following on that most likely, right? Mm -hmm. I think what stands out to me the most as not only being involved with this program or or, uh, I would say project is like being a listener because I go back and I listen to the shit too. And I listen to the people that have been on the podcast, right? And there's just this, just this undeniable feeling of openness. There's this undeniable feeling of transparency. Uh-huh. And it's like, you cannot, you just can't, you can't fake that. You can't write that in a script. Right. And so even, and even with your nice, luxurious backgrounds, you know, on these, wonderful. Eventually we'll have a budget for that too. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, it, but what I mean is like, what we do are in essence are taking what we have doing the right. best that we can right now where we're are where we're at exactly. and i've gone through so many changes so many pussy popping changes not pussy popping changes <laughs> Girl, we, we, we only you know. five minutes in and we already talking about your pum pum already. Lord. Well, All right. I, just to say that there's differences, right? And I think that it's a, it's awesome. I like it. It's kind of like a journal. It's where you're like, dang, I can't believe I went through that or I can't, dang, I can't believe I said that, right? Word. But Word. Um, like, for instance, what I mean by that is it's okay to change your mind and it's okay to think that you are on this path path only to find that life is going to whip your ass a little bit and maybe yeah. tell you you know maybe get you know, and then it's okay to love yourself through even your worst shit you know your worst time and I think that that is the overall message that we have here in our sister in our community because it's not just Indeed. sisters either is it Indeed, exactly. like that's one of the main mes- messages that we pushed out in every single episode we had in every single season. Right. Like, right. love yourself as is. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and and definitely do things that uh, involve self love. Marijuana is one of our self love 
additives, you know what I'm saying? Ingredients, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, and so of course, whatever yours is, definitely go, go do that and celebrate that. Like we, we like everything we do on, on this podcast and everybody that we bring on this podcast, it's all about positivity and you right. know what I mean? And we, and we have, you know, some emotional moments. That's one of the things I love about the end of the end of season six, like that episode had me and my motherfucking feelings like, wait a minute. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Because literally you're, I, I, I cause I, I can't remember, you know, the clouds be cloudy. So I don't remember how <laughs> long, how old Ziana is. If she's over 18, is she over no. 18? No, no so, she so that's, that's another thing that really surprised me. Cause I'm like, yo, she says something profound that, that I had to take in my own fucking real life. Like this is, like she under you know she under eighteen and she is matured to realize yeah I, I I fuck with my sister I love my sister but my but I don't want to fuck I don't want to see my sister and 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 me I'm the opposite I want to see my motherfucking sister I want to see that 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 lady so fucking bad I want to talk to that lady so fucking bad but at the same time I felt what she said like she don't want to like you know Ziana don't want her older sister in her life and 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 she got it and, and she cool with that and i i gotta be cool with that i gotta dead ass be cool with that like mm-hmm. like it's okay she don't you know what i mean she 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 ain't never gonna fuck with me cool i gotta be cool with that you know what i'm saying i gotta tell myself that so hearing that shit i was like oh fuck <laughs> it's It's like she's talking to me hold up bitch wait a minute (laughs) and you know and she's talking to me too because there's some siblings like you would never know based on how my sister and i the one that lives out here be you know act we're like we're really homies you know you got a lot of siblings right and not everybody fucks with everybody and there's reasons for that and so and most of the time it's not even like our fault when we think it might be so it's okay and I really love that you shared that vulnerability it's no one you know this whole podcasting thing it's it's fun it's dope you know what I'm saying and we do want to get paid off of this don't get me wrong it's hell the fuck yeah YouTube I'm just saying but whatever but at the same time it's like this shit is a labor of love like rather than just talking to my homegirl on the phone and spilling my guts we actually do it here so that Mm -hmm. we can um, touch somebody and it's not like you need to even let us know if it can help you then please let it help you that's word. the point mm-hmm. word like you don't even got to tell us but at the same time people do right. tell us people right. definitely and, feel free <laughs> and that's and that i love because at the right. same time yeah i want you know what i'm saying some sure. kind of you know what i mean like like yes we're not doing it for responses we we definitely not doing it for for, for responses but at the same time mm-hmm. we love the responses you feel me? Like you know, you know what I mean. Like a a, a shit. Another shameless plug. The, when Amethyst, shout out to Amethyst, Tiger Goddess. When she read my book and and the review she gave it, I was sitting there like, say word. Like she really read the shit. And 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 it was like, you know what I mean. Like she like she can't like she told her review. You know what I'm saying. You could tell that it wasn't like she was telling her review like it was a scripted and she like she was script writing a script or something like that no she was telling you know what she actually saw out of the book and it's mm-hmm. like and then i went back into amazon and looked at other, you know other people's reviews cuz it's been a while since i checked my reviews and it's like yo there was a couple of people that said the exactly same thing like that the characters were relatable and they and it was just like yo that's that's what's up you 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 know what i mean when you put out a fucking product oh where the fuck she went <laughs> technical is di- technical difficulty. This is what the fuck I'm just gonna say. It. Technical difficulty. That's where the fuck we at. Lord have mercy. She'll be back. See, that's the fuck because I still don't know how to cut this shit out of the fucking video. I gotta figure that out, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the 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 technical difficulty that you don't need to see. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> but she'll be back. You know what I mean? And we'll sit here and wait till she'll be back. Because she's going to be back. The fuck? What happened to her? I don't know. No word. We're going to just stop recording for a second. 
Fuck it. Wait, 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 where is it? Pause. Nah, oh, it, uh, okay. now of course, technical difficulty. I mean, <laughs> no, we can't do nothing without those. So, so, so this one just showed up and said, "Hey, Hooray. I know I'm here too. No, I'm part of the show. Yeah, I, but y'all, I'm part of the show. Technical difficulty. I'm part of the show." <laughs> oh queen no you were saying about the review that amethyst gave or were you telling yeah the rest but of i was saying story? but yeah i was talking about you know how you know how insightful her review was and i was also talking about the fact that you know it that book was written years ago and it's like you know i i i, I definitely look for things like that like you know what i'm saying when you put out a product you want somebody to 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 give you some sort of feedback the feedback is, is is what what lets you know to you know keep going and keep creating you know what i mean so i love that but hell yeah feedback feedback give me that feedback feedback, feedback. is good but what's going on with you? Because I guess ain't here yet, and I ain't even. Let, I, let me check my email and see if he if, if if he coming through. But 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 what's going on with you though? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I'm ready to get into some poom poom business. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of our well, most yeah. watched episodes of season six. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, as like everybody jumped on the line as soon as they saw the word poom poom. Oh, word. Okay, let's see you, what you're talking um, about. What you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> if I was an astrologer, right? Or if I were an expert in, in terms of, you know, astrology and science and all that shit, mm -hmm. I would probably bet that um something's definitely going on in my love life area. You now, don't be, you you don't go online and, and read those those uh, uh those like when you know astrology for the day type of things. I used to do that a long time ago, but I, I haven't done that in years. But go no. ahead. No, I don't do that. But you know, like my sister's really into it. And oh, I okay. think just the rebellious nature in me, it's like, ah, I'm just gonna like go off of the spirit of the Lord. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I just say that to say that almost every dude that I've like liked or had a crush on is coming around in some fashion, okay? I'm still not getting dick down. I'm gonna put that out for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but that's more of a choice than it is like that I can't get none, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So anyway, what I mean to say is that like even somebody from high school, Okay, so this Lord, dude that's has a been... long time ago. I mean, I, I, but let me say, wait up, wait, because I forgot Fuck you in yeah, your thirties. It, it wasn't that long ago for you. No, but bitch, I'm me, God, no. Long I'm forty. Ago. Bitch. Long, <laughs> long ago, long <laughs> ago, time ago. <laughs> so yeah, like no, nah, but here's the cold part. I remember having a mad crush on this motherfucker. He was, uh, you know, it was the typical bullshit high school full crowd type of shit he's a he's in football he happens to be dating um some you know some trick in the cheerleading squad just that typical bullshit oh, that Lord. i don't even fucking care about but we had this class together and i just loved like i just thought he was hella cute right and i had thought to myself way back when dang i wonder how how it would feel to have sex with him right now I wasn't even having sex until I was like in my 20s. So it's like, that's just my perverted teenage hormones thinking, right? Of course. Fast forwarding it to a few months ago, um, he hits me up through social media, right? He starts like, you know, the small talk and shit. I, you know, we all have some kind of influence somewhere. We all have some kind of conditioning. And so the little bitch back there in fucking high school, <laughs> inside was getting all excited that this motherfucker was reaching out only to find out that he's a complete fucking let's just say i'm i'm not going to be i'm not going to be ragging on him like that let's just say he's just an idiot okay uh. this guy is not smart at, at all so <laughs> it's like to a sapiosexual i don't give a fuck how fine you are i don't care how much money you have how much power you have if you ain't got nothing right here, you won't have nothing wet down there. Right. Okay? Hello. So, but it, 
but it taught me something. It taught me that like, dang, it's so important that we not just teach our kids, but teach other people. Once we can feel that sense of like, you don't need validation. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know how much time I spent all these years with that motherfucking mind, like random headspace. That's too much time, baby. Off of some oh, bullshit. Man. That's almost yeah. like when they be talking about when you you meet like when you meet your heroes. Like if you meet somebody and you and, you know say so you idolize this person and make you know you got all these good thoughts about them, and then when you finally get in their space and you figure, find out that they are a complete asshole, and you're just like, uh, I, exactly. I liked you. Why? Wait, wait. I liked you. What? 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 Ugh. See, I was watching too much TV. I was watching too much of that bullshit, of that conditioning where you got to like the hunky guy and whatever, right. only to realize, like, I don't even really care about looks at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I would much rather take mental stimulation and a person who is spiritually in tune overlooks any day. Seriously, Burn. because that's just what I, so anyways, um, there was another couple of instances. Um, I, okay, let's just say this. I'm, I'm going to mention it because I think it's relevant. So I used to have a, you know when, okay, you had, you love Ra, is it Rakim or is it Big Daddy King? Which one uh, is uh, you a uh, fan? Ra Rakim, Rakim. Okay. Definitely so, over Big Daddy K. <laughs> okay. Oh, so check this out. But Rakim would, no, because I met Rakim actually. Well, not met him, but you know what I'm saying. I actually okay. touched his shoe. Perfect. That's about as far Perfect. as I got. I touched his shoe. <laughs> okay. Okay. So check, it's like, check this out. Say when you were single, which I know we know you're not. So I'm not just hypothetically, right? But let's say you saw Rakim at a show, right? And after the show, you went to tell him that he did a good job. And then you run into him again a couple of times. And then you end up running into his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ran into him? Wait a minute. No, like, serious. Okay, so, yeah, like, some on that level. Like, I was a fan of this guy's music. Let's just say that. Okay, right. since I was like in high school. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so he was and, a musician for real. Yeah, like for real, oh, for real. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like you know. Uh, so long story short, I run into him. I'm I'm at a show. I'm at his show with my bro my little brother, and um, my little brother he's gay, so he's like, oh my gosh, like he's you know he's 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 expressing how good looking the said artist is, right? Of course. I don't fucking, again, I don't get fangirl crazy, but there's some people that really do it for me in terms of like, oh, I really appreciate them. Right. So anyways, I end up meeting this guy after his show. I tell him that I really like his performance. I'm a fan. And I give him a hug. And there's like electricity right. in that hug. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I cannot, I, I kid you not. So long story short... Um, a couple of years after I run into him with when I'm in a relationship with somebody else and I totally like go and talk to him. It didn't even matter that I was there with my partner and my child. That's how like it, this connection was undeniable. Right? Uh -huh. And also, and my partner at the time, he, he was very suspicious. Cause he was like, why are you, why did you go so, get so excited when you see that dude? Who the fuck's that dude? I was mm -hmm. like, nah, that's, that's the dude. That's the, the rapper. And he's like, oh, I never heard of him. Yeah. Cause you're a hater. That's why you haven't heard of him. <laughs> so anyways, long story short, I'm nothing sexual. Right. Right. We ended right. up like working together or trying to work together on a project. Cause girl, you know, I'm like, I love being in the music scene, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so anyways, I tried to like get this guy on a show, do the whole thing or, you know, and long story short, there's this vibe that's just pulling me. And then I end up having a dream about us and I tell him about it and that's it. This the minute that the day that I told him that, Oh, like I, I had this dream about us and he was like, oh yeah, I want to, I want some, I would like some today. What's up? And it was, I was on the brink of breaking, like, you know, on and off with, I was having problems with right, my right, right, right. Yes, partner. Yes. 
And so it was just one of those times where it was like, you know what? Fuck it. I went, kicked it. Oh my gosh, girl. He is one of the best sexual Whoa. experiences I've ever had to where I haven't seen this guy seven years ago. And and guess who popped up in guess who popped up very recently. <laughs> and he he had the nerve to be like, oh look what the wind blew in. It's like mm-hmm. Oh, look what the wind sure. Like, no, actually that's what the wind you is what the wind blew in. Hello. I I ain't my breeze didn't blow your way at all, fucker. Whoa. Girl. And then I told you about what happened with, you know, homie in New York. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, okay, I think more than it, it's not like I'm not getting excited, like, oh shit, look <laughs> at all this dick. Cause dick is always gonna be there. I think it's trying to teach me a lesson. Like I'm trying to, it makes me dive into myself. Like, are you going to be doing the same shit or are you going to do set differently? Yo, real talk. I, oh, hell no. We froze. No. Okay, good. We back. <laughs> no, but yo, real talk. It could be a fuck, fuck around. Fuck around. It's a test. Right. Proud. It's a test. Right. It's a it, it's a test to, to, to see are you gonna go back to your same old ways to then get the same results and then be sitting around mad because you, you know, or are you right. gonna pass this test? And right. the, the, and what you what you're supposed to do is is look at it, look at the situation, look at each situation and how it and how it would benefit you if there's exactly. any benefit and if there is no benefit then it's like listen i'm gonna keep it real with you and keep it real with me mostly exactly. me because i can't i exactly. mean because out of the two people in this conversation i care about me the most no let's let's no, because I I don't want to be in the no because the fact is I don't do I don't want to do a repeat I don't do right. repeats I don't want to do repeats I right. I, I want to handle situations right going forward so exactly. what I'm not gonna do is take on a situation that it that absolutely is not going to benefit me in any way shape or form exactly and, thank you and, and and whoever is on the other end here in this conversation is either going to take it respect it and move on or take it respect it and deal with it however they can you know fit themselves in if they can fit themselves in because exactly. at that point you definitely everybody everything on the table is truth you're I, you already let you know how real i am and how real is going to be going forward yeah, thank you. And you know what? I want to also mention something while we're on this subject. You know what? I'm tired of being, okay, let's just say this. You had an experience, right? Where, with, a, with a phenomenal person and you were unsure for whatever reasons you were as unsure. Mm -hmm. Now you go out in the world only to find out that shit's pretty shallow out there. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying that no matter how big the booty no matter how big the titty and how flat the stomach let's just be fucking real there's some things that you can't teach a motherfucker right no. so Rue is looking like the inception mm -hmm. which is like oh shit I need some more of that I, need, uh, 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 I feel like I need uh, you know what I mean so you, you know and it's just like I need to be careful of that because mm -hmm. it's like I'm not saying that these people are actually um, guilty of that or else sure. I wouldn't even be mentioning them but I have to be careful because I have been used and I have been manipulated before so I don't want like my own if whatever I you know I'm, I'm a very confident person but I don't want any insecurity that I have inside to come out in that sense you know what I'm saying Absolutely. because like my girl said it would be all in vain having experienced all this bullshit and I'm not mm. doing that and not for nothing this this stock this pussy stock has is going up baby <laughs> It's going all the way up, okay? It's the biggest, the biggest incline that Bitcoin had. Let's just say that's worth what it is. Okay? Child, it sounds like at the end of the day, you 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 looking at it in a different way, and you looking at it for how it benefits you. Because nah, 
Nah, stop thinking. Nah, it's not about thinking about you, cause, uh, cause, cause you thinking about you. So I gotta advocate for me. So that's where it is. Right. You advocating for yourself. You making sure you, uh, you that everything is on the up and up, and ev and everybody knows the rules. And like I said, it's either you you adapt and come through, or you 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 say I'm I'm good. I, I'm good. I I ain't know you was gonna do it like that. <laughs> I ain't know That's you was gonna come up like that. I'm gonna leave you alone. Yes, thank you. And then exactly. we both in, and we both in a safe place where we understand where the fuck we was at. Nobody exactly. confused because nobody got time for confusion. At the end no. of the day, no, 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 no. Let's just get to the point. Let's just get to Girl. the fucking point. Thank no, you. No, no dance around. No, no sweet talk. You ain't got to do none of that with me. No, just, just please don't. Real. In fact, yeah, just please keep it real because I'm gonna keep it real with you. Thank That's you. That's it. I'm gonna keep it real with you for, for no going forward. I'm gonna keep it real with, real with you, and, and to add a little bit of me in there, I said, sure, I'm not letting nothing you do worry me. I ain't okay. letting nothing you do worry me. No, 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 no. I, I, I if I'm gonna be worried, I'm gonna be worried about better, yeah. bigger, better things. Things that that's going that's that's that's, that's providing me sustenance. That's going to help me. That's going to elevate me. That's going to build build something with me. I ain't. You go ahead, B. Yeah, oh, for real. Go ahead. And also, I have to consider my. Yeah, exactly. I have to consider the children because it's not just me. It's Word. Like whoever and you got I'm... small kids. That's the point. Exactly. The fact is, you got small kids that you still got to teach. You know, different things. The 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 level of no snitchery right. still has to be taught. Like whatever happens in this house, happens in this house. You you go outside right. and tell. Or, or mommy, I will be you. I'll be the first one to beat your monkey ass. You know what I mean? Right. Type shit like that. You know what I mean? The, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? As a as a boy, you gotta try. You know what I mean? Yes, you can instill everything that you you know that you need to as, as you know being his mom and you know what I'm saying. But you know, you finding ways to make sure he you know he gets some kind of you know manage you know you know lessons into him. That's still managing his life. So you know what I mean. Yes, you know what I mean like even like as Ayanna says, so I, she actually says some shit. She said that yo, it's crazy that y'all that you or that we as moms are hundred percent responsible for for another motherfucker. Right, you motherfucking You're right, right. <laughs> you motherfucking right. <laughs> you know, it's right. scary. So yeah, so so <laughs> making so you handling that shit, handling you know what I'm saying your finances, your mental stability, your self love, and your self care, and handling them. That's what's important, and letting a motherfucker know that that's all you got time for, and whatever the fuck you to you you bring it to the table is an accessory. And right. baby, I I throw away accessories on a regular basis. I I don't keep accessories. I I go to the store and change the motherfuckers. So <laughs> don't play with me. Exactly. Me. Yeah. And you know, I uh, I'm just grateful for that realization because it's not even like oh I can say that it's because I'm 40 because some people really never get it. Let's just be real. Some people are still looking for love and definitely in the wrong places. And the only reason why I think I'm not with that fuck shit is because I've lost too much and too short and too lit and such a little bit of time that it's just concentrated that way. And if anything, because when I was going up and come again. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And so while we were going through it, it's just like, oh my God, when is the pain gonna stop? And so if anything beautiful can be learned from it is that we're not going to ever try to put ourselves in that position again. And so I'm just really grateful. That's why we talk about self-love. It's very important. Just When I say my stock goes up, it means that my love for myself is going up. You know what I mean? Who's going to put the price on price tag on that pussy? You are, right? Or on that dick. Cause the dick ain't free either. No, <laughs> hell no, hell no. And yo, the, the fu yo, funny you should say that. Cause I was, uh, cause <laughs> first of all, I'm a big, you know, I I, I listen to to reggae dancehall music a lot, 
and you know, I'm more, of course, because I'm older, I like the the old school shit, but the new school shit, I mean, it don't sound bad too much. And boy, let me tell you, some of these dudes is out here singing and singing songs about girls flying them out and paying them for sex. I said, what? That's what's going on in these streets. Lord, uh, I, I, I am not in these streets, uh, but I, I heard, I heard through the grapevine that you people are singing songs. And girls are flying you out. Were and I have a you. confession. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Equal opportunity. No, I. I can't <laughs> wait to fly in <laughs> some dick. You. Nope, not me. I ain't bad. Yeah, I, you know I can't wait to see because I don't have that. Like I feel like a, a dude or somebody has to. Um, provide for me mentality it, that's why I think I can say this but I would love to be able to get to a point where business is so good and when it's time for me to pleasure to 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 play on the the pleasure play, playground I want to be able to fly in a couple of dicks and maybe a couple of coochies so what you know what I'm saying? If uh, if you got it like that, it's not tr it ain't tricking. If you got it, oh oh I, hey hey hey, who me who <laughs> me to be mad at? Whoever you, you I, I am not in your bedroom. I don't pay. I don't pay your bills. I don't eat your food. Like you know. So whatever you want to do, you <laughs> business. But 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 even with but like I said, it's because like I said, it's like you know I'm listening to the song and I'm just like, hold up, her, <laughs> you getting fly, you getting flewed out, like 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 the city girl said, you getting flewed out, you getting flewed. Out. You know, so, I mean, okay. you're gonna, I don't want to like hit up random motherfuckers on Instagram, like no, oh, no, you no, look no, like no. you got to do that. Let's the it's... the the jokes. The jokes and the funniness uh, uh, the, of of the 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 levels of scammery that is going on on Instagram and TikTok. Now, listen, I we I don't have a is I don't have a TikTok for myself. We don't have a TikTok for a TikTok for you know this channel because I feel like I ain't got time. I really don't have time. time. <laughs> TikTok seems like some uh, some kind of child room play, and I uh, we mamas we drop them off at the child room and we bounce. I don't. <laughs> the hell is this? What, why, why am I go there to go hang out? And and I've heard about the scammer. You know, people scamming people there too, and it's like, nah. I you know, let's just no. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we have you know nice as eat nice and easy, high conversations and intellectual conversations, things that are going on in our real lives and other people's lives as as per our inbox, because it, our inbox is telling us that other people feel our channel and love what we do. So. Ew. So you know what I mean. So we ain't got time for TikTok, but yes, the scams are are out there, and it's like. You know what I mean? You, you just got to be careful. Like, 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 co it common sense to tell you, like, 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 come on. Especially like, because we, you know, our channel, the, the name of our channel, Motherhood Sex Marijuana, we, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? We obviously love the ganja. People will have jumped in, in, in a several of all of our in inboxes and ask us like, why you not buying weed from us? Which check our telegram, we buy weed from us. And it's like, boy, listen, police officer, FBI man, whoever you are. No, FBI, IRS, I don't know who you are on this line, but please understand that she and I live in places where, where 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 weed is being sold ridiculously, you know what I mean? Her her weed is a little bit more fresh because it it came from the ground and then it go in the store and then she smoke it. But 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 New York, we you know the weed gets shipped here. Then you know then the 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 you know whoever got it split it up, sell it to us. Then we smoke it. That's how it go around here. You we know. Have but, and the black market. Yeah. So no no because oh, the black market just... is winning. Let me tell you. Rue, the other day, just to, to even drop a, a line about that, the other, like, not too long ago, you know, uh, the government was talking about how much money 
how much billions of dollars they lost to, in New York City to the black market because there's only like I like I think like 42 licensed shops in New York City, New York State to, all together. And of course, motherfuckers is not let, who, bro. You all it takes is for you to go into one of these shops one time to buy a pre roll for eighteen dollars, and then and then when it when you ring it up, it, the it, the eight the eighteen dollars go up to like twenty five dollars because it's they they it, because of the tax. And it's See, like what? y'all greedy motherfuckers. And it's look like what, you force what? People to do. if I go mm -hmm. to the the illegal shop, the pre roll is ten dollars. And if I'm a good customer, the 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 the, the plug gonna give me a a, a pre roll. He the plug gonna give me a pre roll. The and plug gonna say very word. Fast. I got I got zips for sixty dollars. The plug gonna say I got zips for sixty dollars. The, there's a store that just opened up my, uh, up the street from my crib. They they got seven grams for eighteen dollars. Chad, mm -hmm. and the and the the shit is good. So I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But but the, I brought all of that up to say that, yes, people jump in our inboxes and look to ask us to buy weed. And I just, you know, hit delete and block. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, because you know it's me answering the, the messages. I hit delete and block on these people. And, you know, because at the end of the day, even if we did live in, in a state, <laughs> excuse me, if we did live in a fucking state where, you know, we had to, I'm, I'm not trusting you. I'm not trust, I'm not cash apping you nothing to, to wait on the mail to you to bring. I, mm, 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 mm. No, we don't play. Like we, in real life, we don't play and online we don't play. So it Hello. doesn't matter. Like you're going to have to do that sucker shit to somebody else, especially. And you know what? I think that, um, that's what I find so attractive. I just tend to find like other parents attractive, not because, not so much because I'm a parent, but because it's like when you have a certain mentality where you don't put up with bullshit, that usually mm. comes with taking care of something that's different aside from yourself, right? And so that's why I think generally I tend to be like, oh, I prefer that, right? Um, I think when we were talking to Amethyst and I was telling her that I prefer, there was something, I prefer someone organized or something like that. I really mean that, you know, that's just, maybe it's because I'm 40 now. I don't know. Well, well, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, because you're organized, you you see the goal and you watching time too. Like, come on now, we all watching time. We watch, you know what I mean? It, 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 time is ticking. And, and 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 so the time to hit those goals, we we you know what I'm saying we work we you know we walk in trying to walk faster or at least trying to make moves to to get to those spaces. You know what I mean? Like you know, like literally getting into the to the whole fucking goal of getting into those fucking spaces because at, at the end of the day, we believe in what we're doing. We be, we believe in our product, and it's like you know what I mean. It needs to be here. Like or oh, everybody needs to see the shit. Like you know what I mean. So. It, it 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 makes sense that you know that that we want to go to you know what I mean we want to go to 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 lengths to express this open space and to make sure you know it stays relevant and and, and popping in the 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 and in, in the fucking we community because I I'm a because I'm gonna even tell you the other um the other day when um I happened to go to to uh work and roll. And they was having this this coffee event, this like coffee, just let's sit down coffee and chat type of event. And and hardly nobody was there because because it was like a like a cold rainy day and shit. But I still made it because it was like a, a for me, I was like, shit, it ain't snowing. It's it's just water. The fuck? You know, and, and, and so I'm gonna go there and, and especially if I can find people I could talk to about the podcast. You know what I mean? But in the midst of uh, in the midst of being there, it was like, you know what I mean. You saw pe you saw different people in, in, in different events and whatnot. And the the chick that that run run um work and roll. The first thing she said, she was like, "Yeah, I'm glad you're here." 
Motherhood Sex Man One is definitely big in the community. And it's so funny because the, the clouds be clouding so heavy that I don't I don't remember ever meeting her before. But as soon as as soon as I walked in and for her to say that, that yeah, motherhood sex marijuana is definitely part of the community. Come through. I was like, oh shit, man, you know, fuck you. But thank you, yes, girlfriend. That's right. That's hey. right. You know, yeah, I don't I don't remember you. Maybe I met you before, but I don't remember you. But either way, it's all good. It's all good. Leah, let's come in. And 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 literally, she she literally gave me the VIP service. She was like, you know what I mean? Because the, they was they were serving like you know, you know, infused spike drinks and for five dollars, she gave me one for free. You know what I'm saying? And and then she has some kind of joint that that she, that that I guess one of the sponsors gave her uh you know if uh uh a joint uh, uh, some special shit. She literally lit it, gave it to me, and was like, "Yo, you can have it." I was like, "Where?" I was, I was like, yo, oh girl, I was like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that makes me know that we are definitely, you know, be even when we think nobody sees us, people see us. Be people definitely. Word up, that's beautiful. It's so exciting, and it's always like so flattering. Really, even when like, dude, you know what really does it for me when I see random beautiful queens online just rocking the shirt. And it's like we they never even been on the pod. I don't even know her name, but I'm just so like fucking touched. Like that is the dopest shit. Exactly. It really makes you want to cry. It's like exactly. it's like, yo. And especially, I was like, yo, so, especially like I said, when we read I read our DMs, I'll be like, damn, sir. People people be really checking for us hot shit, son. That's so like that shit. I like that shit. Hey, keep checking for us and keep, and, and you know what? If you need us to come to your show, or, to, I mean, excuse me, if you need us to come to your neighborhood and put on a live show and you're ready to hey. invest, holla at us, because those are the conversations we need to have now. That's the conversation we, also need we are to definitely have. trying to put in the air. Especially, yeah. like I said, and because of, yo, shout out to Nikki Nicole for that uh, that um, event she had at, at, at Positive That's Vibes. Like I said, awesome. shit. Positive Vibes now has our rap, so definitely we got an established relationship with them. So, so I can tell you right now, if we ever decide, if you come to NYC and we decide we're gonna have a, a live show in, while you in here in NYC, that's the spot where we gonna have it at. I was gonna say if that's New York wasn't have it so, if it was not so motherfucking expensive to live there, I would move there. I swear to you, why? Well, I'm telling for you, a couple but... of reasons. I'm telling you, child, listen. For a couple child, of reasons. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, but but New York is is definitely, you know, iconic as far as, you know, as far as the weed game and how it's coming up, it's fucking, it is definitely iconic right up. And again, like I said, OCM recognizes that the plug is making way more motherfucking <laughs> Ooh, when I tell you they mad, ooh, they mad. Ooh, they mad. yeah, that's what I forgot to they, say. That's they, what they you're are pissed off. Stuff. They like, oh my god, the plug, and every every time you turn around, there's more stores. Yeah, shorty. Exactly. What happened was the, 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 the man that's renting them the, the the spot. He don't give a fuck. He collected his three months rent. The fuck and y'all are making it too he dang hard for people. Months, man. He and he look and because it's a weed store, he like shit. I, I, y'all can y'all pay a rent early? What's up? I mean, mm, stay up I'm the whole though. year. Mm, how, how I'm gonna collect my rent, homie? You know what I'm saying? Come on, seriously. Now. OCM and, mad. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it I'm is what so it is. thrilled. That's amazing. It is what it is. Y'all too it is. greedy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because obviously the the plug said who. I'm gonna open a store. I'm not paying you no no application fee. See? I'm gonna run what no I, I'm gonna run my motherfucking shit. I'm gonna get my customers. And, and and at the end of the day, if you even if you shut me down, I'm by the time I, I are you ready to shut me down? I'm gonna buy a couple, three more, four places where I could go move to and. Mm-hmm. Sh- what, what you gonna do? What, what, I'm a, I'm gonna eat, player. I'm a, I'm not going to the no. supermarket and being upset. I'm not about to be mad when I'm when I'm paying bills and I ain't got it. I'm not gonna be applying for these applications, these these fuckery ass motherfucking plantations, and they don't fucking give me a job. And, and I'm over here making nice money selling ganja. Stop playing with me. 
Stop I heard that. Me. Stop playing with us. Definitely. Stop you know me. what? Stop playing with us. That's and and it's because there's such hustlers out in New York. Like if you were doing this at some like pokey dope town, then I guess there's no, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But because y'all are y'all have all the balls in the world, and that's why I give it up to people, or definitely the New York market, particularly the black market. And I really give it up to you for going in and just swooping it up, getting your money, because all of this legislation and all of this bullshit, red tape, yellow tape in order to get your shit even, it was so ridiculous. I was like, I, I, I'm an optimist, but I was like, I don't know how this is really going to pan out for people. I, I don't mean, know. I mean, the, I, 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 I mean, I can't say that you know the 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 license shops don't get don't get business. They damn sure do. You know what I'm sure. saying? And you know what I mean. Particularly, you know, shout out to uh, Gotham Buds. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, because they own. I, I and I. But the main thing, but for me with them, I think that the main reason why they get a lot of business based on the fact that yes, they got quality shit in there, but at the same time, they're on 125th Street across the street from the Apollo, okay? Best believe motherfuckers that come to New York and decide to, and and and, and, and then there's a, a big ass hotel acro across the street from them too. So best believe if anybody comes through there and they, you know, they on the tourist shit, they're going to come to 125th Street. They come in the hall and they definitely come in the 125th Street. And it's, it, you know what I mean? And legal shop right there, stop playing. Stop playing. Man, I just, I'm going to need to go to New York, uh, just have some time blocked out for work for sure, eating for sure, and fucking for sure. Because, yeah, <laughs> dude, I cannot believe how good looking people are in New York. And maybe that's, you know, you know, as they say, good. you can people in a certain demographic may be more interesting or more attractive <laughs> than to certain people than others, right? There's right. like a whole study on that. So I feel like of all the states that I've been in so far, the most good looking people that I've seen are in New York and in DC. <laughs> That's what's up. Definitely. There's some, dude, I, cause I'm just breaking my neck. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? And not to mention, I went out there feeling all sexy too. I've never gotten hollered at so much in my life. I, thought that I was like, you know, when you go to like in front of like a construction site. Right, right, you, right, right. I get around and I'm like, if you, if you feel it, if you're not feeling cute, just go see some landscapers and, you know, they be hollering real quick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> they make me feel all skinny and shit oh yes poppy yes but yeah you can't touch you them make her feel skinny. oh god <laughs> you ain't even fat the fuck wrong with you <laughs> and i sure ain't skinny <laughs> Oh shit, Lord! I ain't been skinny but, since ooh. motherfucking nineteen ninety, child. I'm a t ooh. I could tell you right there. Shit, in nineteen ninety, I was a hundred and, and, and what, like fifteen pounds, Dang. literally in nine. Yes, nineteen ninety when I fucking Fun graduated time. high school. Well, That's you about know, the last time I was in in them type of numbers. Stop playing. <laughs> You know what I mean? I wouldn't even want to go back to them numbers. Like, that's crazy. No. <laughs> Girl, do you have any like weird, um, like weird sexual attractions that you haven't disclosed on here already? Girl, hell no. I already told you. <laughs> I already told you, we done had conversations that said that there are certain things that will never, ever, ever be discussed on this motherfucker. <laughs> what? No, let the people hear from the back. You know, the people all the way in the back that, that that paid the smallest tickets to come see us. Yes, them people. Let the people okay. in the back understand that, yes, while we talk about our business, yes, there will be certain conversations that we will never discuss. Why? Because fuck that. You don't need to know our business like that too. The the the, the this platform is more about y'all telling uh, telling us. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's about 
you telling us no business, you know what I'm saying? If you're working <laughs> on a project or if you know something <laughs> happened in your life that you want to discuss in order to help other people, because shit, we also talk about that too. But yes, it's all about your business, not about <laughs> our business. It's about your business, you feel me? You know what I mean? And coming up in, in season seven, we're going to be talking to a lot of interesting people. But yeah. obviously, we need the interesting people to show up. Today's interesting person decided, I don't know what would happen. Well, I haven't checked the email to see if he decided. But, it, you know, he, he I guess, you know, I like, you know, things for me, things happen for a reason. And one of the things yes. that we definitely know is that all of y'all like to see us more than more than we like when when we bring the motherfuckers up on our on our platform. You know what I mean? You know, you get to like them, the people that we bring on our platform. But for the most part, then your pleasure is looking at our beautiful faces. So of course, we just gonna leave this first episode as you know we got together. We we talked yeah. about everything that's going on, and we also talked about what you're gonna be looking for forward to coming in the next couple of episodes but definitely but at this point she we, we have decided that your man ain't showed up and we talked enough to, to about a lot of interesting things that i'm sure you're gonna have something to say about it but don't get disrespectful <laughs> in the comments because i will delete a block okay like i am very fast like if I show you my delete the delete leader block list, you're gonna be surprised. You know what I mean? Like why, yeah, why, why all these people here because totally. they talk shit and I put them out. Okay, and they talk shit and I put them the fuck out. Okay, that's how that shit go. Okay, right. so yeah, she's a CIA ninja. That's, you know that's what I mean? no, no. We put you out. You got you got fuck shit to say. We put you out. You know what I mean? <laughs> if if it's constructive, of course we going You know we. Gonna, we we ain't you know, but but as soon as really it's some hate and disgust and fuckery, no, you got to go. The bouncer okay. will put you the fuck out the door. Like you, like like I, I don't even know what you're talking about. You can't even get in like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, know, you are you talking shit from outside the club? You know what, yeah. what I mean? You know what I mean? But yes, girl. I think what I like, one of the things that I I'm find really interesting sexually is like body odor. Not not ass. Like I definitely don't want ass or like stank, but like I like some odor. You know, it really turns me on. Like that musty, like someone's been working. And I on even... that note, we gonna just end the show because girl, she... <laughs> what's she talking about? Uh uh, I don't. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. We uh uh. <laughs> nah, I'm a, no. We go no, cause uh, cause I know some people just clicked off. Just no, cause as soon as they got to that part, they clicked off for, for real. You know what I'm saying? They clicked off. The, you know what I mean? And we don't want nobody to unsubscribe. No, we don't want oh, nobody to unsubscribe. Don't. So, oh so we gonna end the show here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> Lord have mercy, it's always a good time. Shit, it always is a good time with you, girl. Yeah. Shit, and, and and if anything, you know what I'm saying. If we hear from home, where we'll reschedule because this go. is an episode right here. This is yeah, right. I, and it should be just us for the first episode. Like, really, real talk, it should be us. Boom. You know what I mean? It worked, out. it worked out the way it's supposed to work out. You know what I'm saying? I like There it. I you like go. It. Praise yeah. the Lord. And are we going to do our intro, outro? Shit, yes. Uh, absolutely. Motherhood, okay. sex, marijuana. Sex, marijuana, and the motherfucking building. building. Always in the building. Later, Queen. Love you, Ma. I love you too, Queen. See you later. See ya.